Good morning. Thanks for joining me today. My name is Holly from Besotted Orchids. Today I'm going to be showing you my Phragmopediums, of which I have four, and my Pathiopedalums, which I have three. My Pathiopedalum Hilo Green Giant, heavy weight. This is a very large bloom. I mean, look at the foliage on this. This is one you'd want to have around just for the foliage. Producing a new pup, which, and actually two, another one down the bottom. I didn't see that one. Which, oh, in a few months here, I'll have another bloom. And the blooms last for a very long time. This is Monty type. It'll be green with green and white striping. Very, very pretty orchid. Over here, I have my no ID because I have lost my tag. This is a little bulldog orchid <clears throat> that on my Instagram page, when it did bloom, it had close to 5,000 likes and shares. Very, very beautiful, beautiful bulldog. I wish I had the name for you. Over here, we have... My Pathiopedalum, Hirsutissimum, okay, soft velvet. I'm totally trashed the name. I'll just let you read it. Well, come on. It is refusing to focus on that. There we go, there we go. Which came from Hauserman. This is going to be a deep purple. It's going to have long sepals. Oh, it's going to be absolutely beautiful. I have yet to see this one bloom. Now, on to my Phragmopediums. Well, first let me tell you the care on my Pathiopedalums. They live in a mixture of bark and sphagnum moss. I water them when they begin to dry out. I do not keep these permanently wet, <clears throat> which is the big difference between them and the Phragmopediums. My frags stay wet. They are either living in their own personal little bog over here with constant water on their feet, or they are in sphagnum moss. All of my phragmopediums I've ordered from Equigenera, and I'm, I'm very, very pleased with them. Phragmopedium piercei. This one it's going to be, they're just all so pretty. The frag, you cannot beat a Phragmopedium for beautiful blooms. The ribbon-like, they're just absolutely beautiful. And the foliage. This is a very unique foliage. This is not unpleasant to look at when it's not blooming. Frag Lindeni. This one, you will see a little bit of cold damage. My fault, I thought I would order orchids from Equigenera. In the fall, and since it takes a month to a little over a month and a half to receive them from Ecuador till they get to Ohio, you can have cold weather. So they, they did come in in the mail when it was a little bit chilly. You can see a little bit of cellular damage going on with that leaf. But I think it's going to pull through. This one will have very long ribbon-like sepals coming down. Oh, I cannot wait for this one to be in bloom. Now over here in the little bog... I have Phragmopedium Incan Treasure. She is getting ready to produce her first blooms for me. Look at her foliage. So pretty. And like I said, these stay in water. There's always water in the bottom of the bowl. Every now and then, of course, you forget to add a little bit. But then you just top it off. I keep it, oh, half inch to an inch of water in there. Now, my last Phragmopedium is Hannah Pawpaw. It has bloomed for me, and it is a beautiful little delicate, no pointy leaves, they're all rounded, um, the beautiful little slipper cup, and it's pink. Very delicate, beautiful, beautiful flower. Now these, like I said, they all receive basically the same amount of care for the fertilizing. I hit them with a little bit of seaweed extract, and every now and then some of the better grow, but I typically stay with the seaweed extract and sometimes a little bit of cow mag. Now, all of these also grow in my eastern window. No extra lighting. Of course, none of these need a lot of light. 
So thank you for watching my quick little video today on my paths and my frags. Have a great day.